if you don't allow this feeling I to connect with any thought, any concept from any zone of time, it is there. What is it? We can do now, we can find out now. Huh? Something is here. If it is not connected with anything from any language, any any word, any concept, any belief, uh, any form, because it perceives everything. If it is not attached to any or connected with any concept, then try now and see. What is it? Don't say the words. Because even the words you speak will not be it. It sees the words being spoken. It observes the breath, even. It sees seeing. It perceives perceiving. It does not need the mind. It watches mind, but not even with interest. Can you feel? Can you feel or not? Yes. Hmm? You can feel. What can you describe? Hmm? Everything comes after. First, the I must arise. If you wake up this morning at 7 o'clock, at 6.59.59, where were you? What could you discuss? What was your name? Seven o'clock. Something comes into being. A natural sense of I am here, even without the words. It is the first to arise. No? You cannot perceive the sense of you before the sense of I. First, the sense of I must be there. Eh? This knowledge, this consciousness, I am, must be there first. Then the sense of you or other or world can come. So it is you. You can say it is the first born of consciousness. The feeling, I am. So this I am itself arises, isn't it? Because at six fifty nine fifty nine it was not there. At seven it came into into being, you can say, it became self-aware. Hmm? And now it is 3.33, it is still hmm, in the waking state. Now it knows time, 3.33. But can anything know it? Even to say, I am, it knows I am. It perceives the sense I am, the thought I am. It perceives the thought you and world and late and breakfast and everything else it is perceiving. Um, but does it have a shape? Breakfast this morning is muesli. Eh? The body consumes. Enjoyment takes place and is perceived to take place. Satisfaction or dissatisfaction also arises and is perceived to arise from the place of I. That is a kind of weakness, a kind of a weaknessing of what is arising. 
So before even any of this, I say, if you don't attach any intention or idea or identity to I, so nothing at all. When you start counting, you start counting from one, not from zero. Isn't it? One, then two, then three, then four. But before you get to one, one arises out of zero, no? but you don't stay zero. Okay? I is at the zero place. It watches one happen, and two, and three, and four, and five, isn't it? So don't touch any, don't touch one. So there is some, some sense of going in and out of focus. So sometimes it feels I'm not a person, and I know oh, my life is so terrible. When it goes back into presence, it goes, Oh my God, thank you, I feel so good. And, oh, and home no mashiva. No hmm? When it goes back into person, oh my God. I don't think I'm ever going to get this. I don't think I'm worthy enough. I don't feel like you see like this. So something is oscillating between the sense of person and then presence. What is it? That creates huh? attention, attention. Okay, but the presence is able to observe the attention, but not always. So what practice is is to try and keep observing that when the the, the habit that when the attention goes and belief goes in the attention, it creates a kind of drug effect in upon the presence and the presence start to behave as a person okay when the presence becomes self conscious that it is always capable of watching okay then that delusion doesn't happen that hypnosis doesn't happen when the consciousness keeps on being conscious of consciousness after a while it doesn't have to do it anymore and the sleep is over <laughs> 